Welcome to our channel Storm Rider. The USS Zumwalt DDG-1000 destroyer represents one of the most advanced warships ever built by the United States Navy. And even though it was conceived years ago, by 2026 it continues to stand as a symbol of futuristic naval design and cutting-edge technology. At first glance, what immediately sets the Zumwalt apart is its unusual shape. Unlike traditional destroyers with sharp superstructures and visible masts, the Zumwalt features a sleek, almost sci-fi look with sloped surfaces and a low profile that make it appear more like a spaceship than a battleship. This distinctive silhouette isn't just for aesthetics, it's carefully designed for stealth. With its angular, tumble-home hull, radar waves are deflected in ways that make the Zumwalt appear much smaller on enemy radar almost like a fishing boat rather than a 600-foot warship. That stealth factor alone is one of its greatest selling points, giving the vessel an edge in modern naval warfare, where detection usually means defeat. Beneath its futuristic exterior, the Zumwalt packs enormous power. The destroyer is equipped with an advanced integrated power system that generates a staggering 78 megawatts of electricity. To put that into perspective, that's enough energy to power around 50,000 homes. This isn't just a statistic to brag about. It directly feeds into the ship's versatility. With that much power available, the Zoomwalt can support advanced weapon systems, radar arrays, communications gear, and still have enough reserve energy to potentially handle future technologies such as railguns and directed energy weapons like lasers. Many warships today are limited by the energy they can generate on board, but Zumwalt was built with the future in mind, ensuring it remains relevant for decades as new technologies emerge. Another standout feature is its weaponry. Originally, the Zumwalt was designed around two massive 155-meter advanced gun systems that could fire long-range precision projectiles. The goal was to give it land attack capabilities, almost like a battleship's modern reincarnation. However, due to skyrocketing costs of the specialized ammunition, that part of the design saw major changes. In recent years, the focus has shifted toward outfitting the Zumwalt with hypersonic missiles, which fits better with the Navy's evolving strategy. By 2026, the ship is expected to be a core platform for conventional prompt strike missiles long-range, ultra-fast weapons that can hit targets across continents within minutes. This positions the Zumwalt not just as a destroyer, but as a strike, platform capable of delivering game-changing firepower in global conflict scenarios. When it comes to performance, the Zumwalt is no slouch. Its propulsion system uses advanced electric drive technology, which makes the ship quieter and more efficient compared to older vessels. This quietness enhances its stealth even further reducing its acoustic signature and making it harder for submarines to detect. Its top speed hovers around 30 knots, which is on par with other modern destroyers. But speed isn't the only performance metric that matters. What the Zumwalt really excels at is combining its stealth profile with long endurance, advanced radar, and communication systems to perform multiple roles, whether it's coastal strike missions, blue water operations, or providing cover for carrier strike groups. Inside, the Zumwalt continues to impress with its advanced automation. Where traditional destroyers might require crews of over 300 sailors, the Zumwalt can operate with around 140 to 150 personnel, thanks to integrated automation systems that handle everything from damage control to ship operations. This reduction in manpower not only saves on long-term costs, but also highlights the ship's design philosophy. Do more with fewer people by leveraging technology. For sailors, this means living quarters are comparatively more spacious and modern, a rare luxury in naval life. It also makes the ship easier to maintain and reduces the logistical footprint required to keep it operational. From a design perspective, one of the most fascinating elements is the tumble home hull. Unlike conventional flared hulls that widen, as they rise above the waterline, the Zumwalt's hull actually narrows. This design reduces radar cross-section dramatically, but comes with its own challenges, particularly in rough seas. Critics have pointed out that this shape can make the ship less stable in high waves, though the Navy maintains that its advanced, 
Stabilizers and ballast systems offset most of these issues. It's a trade-off. Stealth and futuristic design versus traditional sea-keeping stability. And yet, this bold departure from convention shows the Navy's willingness to experiment and innovate. Another aspect that can't be overlooked is the Zumwalt's role in the broader strategy of the U.S. Navy. When the class was first envisioned, more than 30 ships were planned. Due to escalating costs and shifting priorities, that number was cut to just three. The USS Zumwalt, USS Michael Mansour, and USS Lyndon B. Johnson are the only three ships in this unique class. Because of their small numbers, they've become experimental test beds as much as operational warships. This means the Zumwalt isn't just a combat vessel. It's also a platform for testing new concepts, weapons, and tactics that could shape the Navy of the future. That uniqueness is both a strength and a limitation. On one hand, it makes the ship special and forward-looking. On the other hand, it means logistical support and maintenance are more complicated, since parts and systems aren't widely distributed across a large fleet. One of the most exciting future-proof aspects of the Zumwalt is how it's being adapted to carry hypersonic missiles. These weapons travel at speeds greater than Mach 5, making them nearly impossible for current missile defense systems to intercept. By giving the Zumwalt this capability, the Navy is turning what was once an experimental destroyer into a strategic weapon platform capable of deterring great power adversaries. It transforms the ship from being a primarily stealthy surface combatant into a vital piece of the United States' long-range strike arsenal. Yet it's not all praise. The Zumwalt has faced plenty of criticism over the years, mainly regarding its cost. Each ship in the class came in at over $4 billion, not counting research and development, which ballooned the total program cost into tens of billions. For many critics, this raises the question, is it worth it to have only three ships at such a high price? Others argue that without bold steps like Zumwalt, naval technology would stagnate. In that sense, the ship is almost like a concept car. For the Navy, a bold vision of the future, even if it's not produced in large numbers. For the general audience, what makes the Zumwalt so fascinating is that it looks like something straight out of a movie, yet it's very real. Its stealth profile, advanced power system, futuristic weapons, and reduced crew needs make it unlike any warship before it. At the same time, it represents the balance of ambition and limitation, the desire to create the ultimate destroyer versus the realities of cost, practicality, and evolving strategies. In the end, the 2026 USS Zumwalt DDG-1000 destroyer stands not just as a ship, but as a milestone in naval history. It's a blend of bold innovation and hard lessons, a warship that challenges the very definition of what a destroyer can be. Whether it's remembered as a costly experiment or as the precursor to a new generation of naval warfare platforms, one thing is certain. The Zumwalt is unlike anything else sailing the seas today. It captures the imagination, pushes the boundaries of design and technology, and ensures that the future of naval combat will look very different from the past.